The Andhra Pradesh Open University is the first open university in the country established by an act of the Andhra Pradesh State Legislature in 1982. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Bhavanam Venkatram, and the Education Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Q. Kesha Rao, are instrumental to set up this university. The university was inaugurated by the President of India, Sri Gyani Jail Singh, on August 26, 1982. Prof. G. Ramreddy was appointed as the first Vice-Chancellor of Andhra Pradesh Open University. There are thousands of people who, for various reasons, could not go to the university. They now want to have access to higher education. Therefore, distance education, our open university system, tries to meet these demands for higher education in the society. The Andhra Pradesh Open University was started in 1982, while IGNU in 1985. The great architect of distance education, Prof. G. Ramreddy, is prided upon for the popularity of distance education across the nation. In 1988, the government of Andhra Pradesh allotted 53.63 acres of land to the university in Hyderabad at Jubilee Hills to construct its own buildings. The foundation stone for the buildings was laid by Dr. Shankar Dayal Sharma, Vice President of India on July 2, 1988. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Nandamuri Taraka Rama Rao said, The government of Andhra Pradesh rechristened AP Open University as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University in 1991 to commemorate the centenary celebrations of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the architect of Indian constitution. The site is surrounded by hillocks and Durgam Chirubu Lake. The hillocks were moulded into beautiful structures for the empowerment of underprivileged sections of the people. It took almost four years to complete the university buildings and it was inaugurated by the Prime Minister of India, Sri P. V. Narsimha Rao, on 31st August 1994. Speaking on the occasion, the Prime Minister said, The studies about open university, the open university system as a system, the curiosity uh, about the system, the desire to learn about the system, to examine it, to get into details, all this was done in Andhra Pradesh even before 1982. 82 was the culmination of all this effort, the culmination of all these trials and tribulations and because it was the first university, it has a first to its credit but to the credit of Andhra Pradesh goes the entire hard work that went into the making of an open university. The university housed its buildings of administration and student support services, academic, Center for Staff Training and Development, 
audio visual production and library study material house material production center science and technology multifunctional laboratory and great on the beautiful site for the convenience of students the university has made its efforts to set up state bank of india and post office on its premises the successor vice chancellor of dr b r ambedkar open university professor c narayan reddy professor r v r chandrashekhar rao professor s bashiruddin professor afsal mahmud professor v s prasad professor d ramchandram professor o r reddy and dr p prakash professor k sitarama rao made outstanding contribution for establishing the credentials of the university lord of our The open learning system provides an opportunity to majority of the unreached sections of people. that is skilled and unskilled workers housewives jawans prison inmates and all those who could not be accommodated under conventional system the faculty members actively engage in realizing the academic objectives of the university they plan and develop the printed course materials and revise them at periodic intervals in addition to this they डॉक्टर बी आर् अंबेकर् सार्वत्रिक विश्वविद्यालय भारत देश मोटमोद विश्वविद्यालय का पेरें तनकूर्क वयस तो संबंध लेकिन अनेक मंदिर विद्यार्थुक उन्नत विद्या अवकाश कल अंतका की विद्यसागे अवकाश यह विश्वविद्यालय द्वारा कल तनकूक प्रत्येक इप्तवर अनेक मंद विद्यारथुक बाट वे तम तम गम्य भारत देश रोज रोज की एनो कश्विद्यलया पुटगड़ा पुटको इतर विश्वविद्यलयल तो पोटी पड़त डा बी आर् अंबेकर् सार्वत्रिक विश्वविद्यालय विद्या नाण्यता विषय में येमात्र तक का निरूपू तनकूक शैली अलागे गुर्तिंक विश्वविद्यालय अच्छे पुस्तक सिविल मरी ग्रूप चला बार... Good morning, all of you. The governor of Telangana and Puducherry has arrived in the campus, and uh, the Grace Committee meeting is going on. Shortly after that, after the national anthem, the governor will enter the auditorium. I request all of you to take your seats and keep your cell phones in the switch off mode. गवर्नर गारे कॉन्वेकेशन ग्रेस कमीटी मीट स्टार्ट गवर्नर गारेपोरियम लोग अंदर मे सफोन स्विच आफ्जी 
దయచేసి ఎవరు నిల్చోదు అందరు కూర్చోండి
kindly note the grace committee meeting has concluded and uh, all of you please rise up in your seats i request everybody to stand up please remain standing till everybody is seated on the dais Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Madam Chancellor, do I have the permission of the Chancellor to commence the convocation proceedings? Yes, permitted. I declare the convocation open.
the 24th convocation of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar Open University has been called for to confer the honorary degree, honoris causa, upon Professor Asha Singh Kanwar, and also to confer the degrees, diplomas, and certificates upon the candidates who have been certified to be worthy of them by Executive Council. Madam Chancellor, I present to you Professor S. Asha Kanwar, the Chief Guest at the 24th Convocation of this University, who is the recipient of Honoris Casa. I request the uh, recipient of Honoris Casa, Professor Asha Kanwar, to stand up. Madam Chancellor, it's my honor to present the chief guest of today's convocation, Professor Asha Singh Kanwar, President and CEO of Commonwealth of Learning, Vancouver, Canada, who is instrumental in promoting technology-mediated open distance learning and flexible education. Professor Asha Kanwar has completed her master's degree both in English literature and education and did her doctoral degree from University of Sussex, England. In recognition of her contribution to educational technology and open distance learning, many universities in Europe, Asia, and African countries, with the Open University of UK, the Open University of Sri Lanka, the University of Swaziland, have conferred on her honoris causa, delete. She was also awarded with many fellowships in the field of higher education. She published 12 books and over 200 research papers in the field of distance education and education technology. She has held many policy formatting highest academic and administrative positions in different universities. At present, she is providing education leadership to Commonwealth of Learning and Commonwealth countries to all over the world from Vancouver, Canada. Hence, Dr. B.R. Evoyu University have considered Professor Asha Singh Kanwar the right person to confer the honoris causa for her valuable contribution to the field of open, flexible, distance, and technology-enabled learning, quality assurance, and open educational resources. Thank you very much. Madam Chancellor, I pray that she may be admitted to the degree of degree of letters, Doctor of Letters of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> the candidates who are getting degrees, let the candidates stand for award. Stand please, stand. Stand. Please, please stand. Please stand. All, all degrees. Facu all, degree. faculties. all faculties. All faculties. Yeah. Will all the candidates eligible for the award of degrees, diplomas, and certificates stand and answer the three questions put to them by Vice Chancellor with the words, I do promise after the question? Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that it, if, if admitted to the degree for which you have been qualified, you will, in your daily life and conversation, conduct yourself and become 
worthy members of this university. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that to the utmost of your opportunity and ability, you will use your power for the promotion of true learning in the service of your fellow men? Do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will faithfully and diligently fulfill the duties of the profession to which you will eventually belong and that you will on all occasions maintain its purity and reputation? Faculty of Arts. No arts. Win the candidates for the master's degree in English, Hindi, Telugu, and Urdu, PG diploma in writing for mass media in Telugu, that is PGDW MMT, and bachelor's degree in arts, BA. Kindly stand. Madam, Madam Chancellor, I present to you these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to the master's degree in. English, Hindi, Telugu and Urdu, PG Diploma in Writing for Mass Media in Telugu, PG DW MMT and Bachelor's Degree in Arts, BA. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the Master's Degree of Business Administration, Master's Degree in Commerce, PG Diploma in Business Finance, PG Diploma in Marketing Management, and Bachelor's Degree in Commerce. And I charge you throughout your life to prove worthy. Faculty hours, okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the Master's degree in English, Hindi, Telugu, and Urdu, PG Diploma in Writing for Mass Media in Telugu, uh, and Bachelor's degree in Arts, and I charge you throughout your life to prove what you have these degrees and diplomas. Will the candidates for degrees of master's degree in business administration, MBA, master's degree in commerce, MCOM, PG diploma in business finance, PG DBF, PG diploma in marketing management, PG DMM, and bachelor's degree in commerce become kindly stand. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I present to you these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Master of Business Administration, MBA, Master's degree in commerce, MCOM, PG Diploma in Business Finance, PG DBF, PG Diploma in Marketing Management, PGDMM, and Bachelor's Degree in Commerce, BA. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the Master's Degree of Business Administration, Master's Degree in Commerce, PG Diploma in Business Finance, PG Diploma in Marketing Management, and Bachelor's Degree in Commerce, and I charge you throughout your life 
to prove worthy of these degrees and diplomas. Will the candidates for degrees of Bachelor of Degree in Education, B.E.D., and B.E.D. Special Education kindly stand? Madam Chancellor, I present to you these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor's Degree in Education, B.E.D., and B.E.D. Special Education. By virtue of authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the Bachelor's Degree of Education and B. Ed. Special Education, and I charge you throughout your life to worthy of these degrees. Will the candidates for the degrees of MSc, Mathematics, Applied Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Environmental Science, Botany, Zoology, and PG Diploma in Environmental Studies, that is PG DES, Bachelor's Degree in Science, that is BSc, and Certificate Program in Food and Nutrition, CPFN, kindly stand. Madam Chancellor, I present to you these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to MSc Mathematics, Applied Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Environmental Science, Botany, Zoology, and PG Diploma in Environmental Studies, PG DES, Bachelor's Degree in Science, BSc, and Certificate Program in Food and Nutrition, CPFN. By virtue of authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the degrees of MSc Mathematics, Applied Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Environmental Science, Botany, Zoology, and PG Diploma in Environmental Studies, Bachelor's Degree in Science, and Certificate Program in Food and Nutrition, and I charge you throughout your life to prove worthy of these degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Will the candidates for the degrees of master degree, MA in economics, history, political science, public administration, sociology, journalism and mass communication, MSc psychology, master's degree in library and information sciences, MLIC, PG diploma in human rights, PG DHR, and bachelor degree in library and information sciences, BLIAC, kindly stand. Madam Chancellor, I present to these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to the master degree, MA, in economics, history, political science, public administration, sociology, journalism and mass communication, MSc psychology, master's degree in library and information sciences, PG diploma in human rights, PG DHR, and bachelor degree in library and information sciences, BLIC. By virtue of authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, I admit you to the Master's degree in Economics, History, Political Science, Public Administration, Sociology, Journalism and Mass Communication, MSc Psychology, Library and Information Science, and PG Diploma in Human Rights, and Bachelor's degree in Library and Information Science. And I charge you throughout your life to prove worthy of these degrees and diplomas.
ஆனரபுள் டாக்டர் தமிழிசை சவுந்தரராஜன் கவர்னர் ஆஃப் தெலங்கானா அண்ட் லெப்டினட் கவர்னர் ஆஃப் பாண்டிச்சேரி டிஸ்டிங் மிஸ்டர் சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஆஷா எஸ் கன்வர் பிரசிடெண்ட் அண்ட் சீஃப் எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் ஆஃபீஸர் ஆஃப் தி காமன்வெல்த் ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி எக்ஸிகூட்டிவ் கவுன்சில் டிஸ்டிங் மிஸ்டர் இன்வைட்டீஸ் ரிப்ரஸன்டேட்டிவ்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி பிரிண்ட் அண்ட் எலக்ட்ரானிக் மீடியா ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி அண்ட் ஸ்டாஃப் ஆஃப் தி யூனிவர்சிட்டி ரிசிப்பியன்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வேரியஸ் அவார்ட்ஸ் டிகிரிஸ் டிப்ளமாஸ் அண்ட் சர்டிஃபிகேட்ஸ் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் on behalf of the members of the executive council teaching and non teaching staff of the university and on my own behalf it is a great honor and privilege to welcome each one of you on this momentous occasion of the 24th convocation of dr b r ambedkar open university at the outset i offer my wholehearted greetings to all our learners who are about to graduate who are present at this venue and those who could not attend but will be getting degrees in absentia and they must be watching live in the youtube channel also special congratulations to all the medal winners and their families i am particularly happy to have at this convocation the the gracious presence of our honorable chancellor dr tamilisai saundararajan a doctor and scholar of eminence who is known for our excellence in state administration it is a great honor and privilege to welcome the eminent chief guest of the day professor asha singh kanwar one of the world's leading advocates of learning for sustainable development who is the president and chief executive officer of the commonwealth of learning throughout a career spanning over more than 35 years she has made outstanding contributions in the areas of teaching research and expansion of open distance and flexible learning i congratulate all the graduate and post graduate learners and research scholars of the university who received degrees and awards at this convocation ladies and gentlemen due to the pandemic we could not conduct the convocations for our successful graduates in the years 20 2020 and 2021 however i am proud that we have organized this convocation at the earliest possible time today with a sense of pride i am happy to report to you the progress of our university which is consistent in its efforts to provide equal opportunities for education and has received recognition as an institution that upholds the values of uh, inclusive quality education and research at this convocation 79968 candidates who have qualified during the years 2019 to 2022 are receiving their degrees diplomas and certificates out of these 57717 are undergraduate candidates who have qualified to receive their degrees among Uh, degrees among which 29638 are women that they are more than 50% 186 inmates from various prisons of telangana and andhra pradesh states are also receiving degrees at this convocation i congrat congratulate all of them once again today the change is the buzzword and reinvent or perish is the new mantra educational delivery systems the world over have undergone a sea change and stakeholders are now faced with the task of reinventing themselves to suit these delivery systems as a pioneering distance education institution in making inclusive education available to the masses within the geographical jurisdiction dr b r ambedkar open university has been constantly making efforts to break down barriers and keep the lamp of intellectual curiosity burning the university has chalked out pathways to reinvent itself and reach out to its learners since the outbreak of covid-19 pandemic online learning and teaching has online learning has gradually become the new normal uh, at, at at almost all levels of education in keeping with the trend the teaching fraternities 
at the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, both the internal faculty as well as the counselors of PG and UG courses were given the mandate to take online classes using technological support despite all odds. Today, with a sense of pride, I am happy to report to you that the university is consistently maintaining high visibility and the recognition as an institution that upholds values of inclusive quality education and research. Quality assurance. Extending the quest for quality, BRAOU proposes to go in for NAC accreditation soon. The Center for Internal Quality Assurance has coordinated the compilation of self-study report with the cooperation and inputs from the teaching and non-teaching staff. With a view to enhance internal quality and for preparing the SSR for NAC accreditation, SICA also organized lectures by two eminent distance educators, Professor V.S. Prasad and Pro Professor Rajan Velukar under the special series in 2022. In this regard, uh, SEMCA of Coal, New Delhi also helping us uh, in man-modeling and guiding us in preparing, this for, preparing for the NAC accreditation. In that regard, Professor Venkaya is also with us in helping the process. Another important development is that G. Ramreddy Academy for Distant Education has now been made into a separate division and renamed as Professor G. Ramreddy Center for Research and Development, keeping in view the latest guidelines of UGC, so as to extend its work from research and development to innovation and entrepreneurship that would facilitate the reshaping and modernization of ODL system. The university has also established the Center for Skill Development and Career Planning to facilitate launching of skill-based programs of short duration and important impart employability skills. In keeping with the UGC guidelines to make education relevant and application oriented, our university had the distinction of being one of the first to adopt the choice-based credit system which provides a convenient and effective teaching learning platform so that learners have the flexibility to make a choice from the list of elective scores and all that. The CBS system is the first open university in our India. It has been uh, introduced by our university. And I want to cut it short, but already uh, the detailed report has been printed and distributed. And we have also entered many collaborations and partnerships, various uh, universities, and especially Coal and Semka, and other sister uh, universities. And technology integration and the new initiatives also we have taken up uh, with a required pace to integrate uh, technology in the teaching, learning, and research process. So, uh, the Dr. B.R. AOU is importing education through the semester system on par with the regular universities. And the YouTube channel, uh, B.R. AOU channel has been started to provide online lessons to the students. In tune with the uh, respected Madam Governor's flagship program, Chancellor's Connect Alumni, Dr. B.R. AOU initiated the registration of Alumni Association and the enrollment drive is moving with the required pace since 2017. So, by, due to paucity of time, I have reduced my presentation. Within the brief presentation, I have reduced my presentation only to the, uh, only the highlights of the activities which are enabled, elaborated upon in the printed document which is already in your hands. I once again thank our distinguished guests and wish our graduates all success in their future endeavors. I wish them a bright future in their career. Thank you very much. Thank you, one and all. Now I request 
Today's chief guest and main speaker of this convocation, Professor Asha Singh Kanwar, to give her convocation address. Honorable Governor Telangana, <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Puducherry and Chancellor of the University, what an impressive list. Respected Vice Chancellor, members of the Executive Council, deans, directors and heads, registrar, graduates, media persons, distinguished guests. Thank you for the honor which I am very proud to accept. And this award wouldn't have been possible without the unwavering support I get from the wonderful team at the Commonwealth of Learning and friends from around the Commonwealth. This honor also belongs to them. It's a privilege to become an alumnus of Dr. B.R.A.O.U., the oldest open university in the country, which became a model for some of the state open universities that followed. Call has been a partner of this mega university over the years. And I have another very close connection with this institution, and that is Professor G. Ram Reddy, who was the founding vice chancellor of this university. He was my vice chancellor at the Indira Gandhi National Open University. And then he joined the Commonwealth of Learning, or CALL, as its first vice president. Professor Ram Reddy was a visionary academic leader, whom many of you know, and who developed open and distance learning within India and around the Commonwealth. A convocation ceremony is a very important milestone in the life of an institution, and I'm delighted to be part of this happy occasion. I thank the Vice Chancellor, Professor Sita Rama Rao, and the Executive Council for the invitation. Let me congratulate you, dear students, on your well-deserved success. In my view, the students who graduate from a distance learning institution are any employer's dream. Instead of studying full time, you have often balanced the requirements of study with your family responsibilities and job requirements. It's because of your motivation, discipline, and commitment that you are here today to receive your hard-won qualifications. Let us also not forget the support and sacrifices made by your families, especially during the pandemic. Some of you are already in employment, while others will be seeking it. So what are the options? In a 2021 report, it was found that 69% of employers had trouble finding qualified graduates to hire. There seems to be a disconnect between what we teach and what is required by the job market. And with the advances in technology, the future becomes even more uncertain. Since the future is difficult to predict, let us ensure that our graduates have three literacies as proposed by Robert Aum. First, human literacy, which prepares students to perform jobs that machines can't do and only humans can. Human literacy will help students to make ethical choices and equip them for social engagement. Second, data literacy. This is essential in a world driven by data and learners must be able to find meaning in the flood of information around us and to separate fake from true. Third, technological literacy is essential if we are to understand machines and their uses. Learners must be able to deploy software and hardware in order to maximize their powers to achieve and create. Vice Chancellor, if we can equip us learners with these three literacies, we'll be preparing them for the jobs that do not yet exist. Governments are looking for ways in which young people can be skilled for employment and entrepreneurship. And in order to reach large numbers, policymakers around the developing world have realized that traditional brick and mortar solutions are not enough. 
And one of the silver linings of the pandemic has been the global acceptance of distance and technology-enabled learning. We know that higher education is very important for national development. Gross enrollment ratio for higher education is 27% in India, whereas global averages are 40%. And 12% of this 27% is catered to by distance learning institutions. We have a new education policy, a national education policy 2020, that expects to achieve 50% gross enrollment ratio in higher education by 2035. This target can only be achieved through the active participation of the open distance and online learning ecosystem in the country. As you know, we already have 17 open universities, and hopefully that number will grow. Youth unemployment has risen during the pandemic, and the employability of graduates will be a key factor in national development. Vice Chancellor referred to this in his report. So how can open universities produce employable graduates? But we must remember that opportunities for livelihoods do not come from employment alone. Instead of simply being job seekers, can we become job creators? We live in a world which values and rewards innovators. Do we need to be born innovators, or is this a skill that can be acquired? In their book, The Innovator's DNA, Dyer et al. have distilled the skills that all innovators share. And what are these skills? These are simple skills, questioning, observing, networking, and experimenting. So what does this mean? Innovators ask questions all the time. Asking simple questions can often lead to profound discoveries. You know Steve Jobs, he wanted to know, why do computers need a fan? And of course, the rest is history. Observing closely is a skill that all innovators share. They try to carefully understand how people, technologies, and systems work and arrive at insights and lessons that can be helpful in their own situations. In addition, innovators are great networkers. And here we don't just refer to social networking, but meeting people from different backgrounds and disciplines to explore ideas which can further trigger new ideas. And finally, innovators are always trying out new experiences and solutions. So innovation is a skill, dear students, that can be mastered by all of us by developing the skills of questioning, observing, networking, and experimenting systematically until they all become part of our DNA. You have worked hard and you richly deserve your success. As someone who has also graduated as a distance learner, because I was married very early, let me share three things from my own experience. First, the 21st century is very different from the past century in people from our generation graduated. In our days, it was enough to do a degree, find a job which lasted until you retired. Now research shows that you will be changing at least two to four jobs during your careers which means you'll have to continue to learn throughout life. The second lesson I've learned is that many times life is not a simple equation, and hard work does not always lead to success. So we must also be prepared for failure. But let us stay positive and persevere until we succeed. In fact, there is no substitute for perseverance. Third, your altitude, how far up you'll go, will depend on your attitude. As you know, intelligence is very important, but emotional intelligence is even more valued to, in today's world. We must develop the skill of empathizing with people and taking them along. This is very important. And a positive frame of mind and can-do approach is what the world of work needs today. Innovators are also lifelong learners. So your learning does not end today. 
you will still need to continue to learn, unlearn, and relearn many different things during the course of your lives. Learning how to learn would be the biggest advantage that you leave with today, and this will always stand you in good stead. This is an important skill that Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University has given you. As you graduate today, you are expected to contribute to your family, your community, and your country. In addition, you are also global citizens who must contribute to the sustainability and well-being of our planet. Let me congratulate you, dear students, on your well-deserved success. The world awaits and the future beckons. Each one of you can make a difference. And as Mahatma Gandhiji said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thanks very much. Now I request our Honorable Chancellor to give her message in this convocation. A special good morning to each and every one here. First of all, I congratulate all the degree holders who has got the who, students who have got the degrees today and with all hardship you have achieved this it's a great day for you so congratulations to each and every one <laughs> the chief guest professor asha kanwar she has presented a very beautiful presentation the presentation revealed all the true things which is necessary to be known by each and every one who are doing the distance education and open university so congratulate you so we are very confident that we have selected a very apt person as the chief guest today thank you very much <laughs> vice chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Professor Sita Ram Rao, and Professor A. V. R. Reddy, Registrar, and Colonel Sanjeev Kumar, because I got introduced when we went to that institution to organize the degree course by the Ambedkar Open University for the Army personnel. So that is the beauty of this distance education. And as Madam Asha Kanwar, she told, this open university is learning to learn. I can say it, usually we are learning to earn. And in the open university, we are earning and learning. So that is the beauty of our university. The time is very short. Actually, I have to catch the flight to go to Delhi for an important meeting. So my message only should be for five minutes. So it should be very short. But I have to say, because as Madam also told her, as our Honorable Prime Minister always says, you should not be the job seekers. You should be job givers. And apart from that, you are the people who even missed your opportunity of education at your younger age. But you with your conviction and hard work, you got the job, most of them, and then you got the degree. In a lighter sense, I was reading a message. One person was asking another person, how many boys, you have four boys, what are they doing? What they have, Edu what are their education? It's in a very lighter sense, I'm telling. Then that other person told, first person is a BA, second person is an MBA, Third person is an MCOM. Fourth person is a thief. Then the other person told, why can't you throw out that four, fourth person out of the house? 
The other person told, he's the only earning member in my family. <laughs> All other are unemployed. So, so this is the, the, uh, the uh, actually this is the uh, uh, real thing which we see in some of the houses. So I appreciate you because as I went to the army school, they got selected for their uh, duty to save the country. And then they are fulfilling that desire to continue their education. And my request is whatever may be the challenges, even as a student, when they are only focused on studies, they are facing so much of challenges. Yesterday also I went to the graduation day of the Osmania University. In a lighter sense, I told one, one student came to the professor's room, locked the room and told the professor, sir, I will do anything to pass, to get a pass. I will do anything. Then again he told, then the professor asked, will you do anything? Yes, I will do anything, sir. Please tell me, sir. Then the professor told, why can't you read to get a pass? So the, even the main job of learning also, some of the students are not doing because they are not as it is said, we are all here because of the sacrifices of our parents. So first you have selected your career and then you have selected your degree and whatever may be the challenges, I always say there is no life without challenges. Life is not easy for everybody or anybody. Everyone has a challenge. Even the highest office also will have a challenge. So if I am uh, a governor, I also will have challenges. So don't think every, uh, no, everyone is very free and everyone is having a uh, very easy life. And I appreciate because of your family commitments, you have fulfilled your duties and you are taking part in the responsibilities of your family. That is a great thing. Because nowadays youngsters, I also appeal, the youngsters, they are not able to face the challenges. But in a, in a classroom, they introduce the, the pattern how the butterfly is born. So they, the teacher gave a cocoon to everyone. They allowed the natural process. But one child just broke the cocoon to help the butterfly. That butterfly died because the, in the process, with the flies, the butterfly should hit the cocoon with strong hand, fly so that with that strength only, the butterfly can gain its life and gain the challenges. So don't think that everything is easy and don't think that we are suffering. Everyone is facing the challenges and particularly corona period. One person asked, Please tell the law of Newton's law. To a science student only, she asked. Then he told, no, I am a law, no, I'm not a law student, madam. You are asking Newton's law. Then the teacher asked, oh, you are a corona batch. I forgot that. So that is also because corona batch has a different entity, like, a, a, like a master batch, bachelor batch. Corona batch has a different entity. You are with distance education. But the whole world visualized distant education during corona period, no other way. So the world came into your route so that whole world turned into uh, distance education. Then that added some advantage to you. So nothing uh, I should tell and what I should may, uh, tell as a message and be courageous, be happy. Don't compromise your happiness for anything. And corona has taught us a lot of lessons. Please look into the roots, have good healthy diet, have good healthy lifestyle because if we have a healthy lifestyle only, we can lead the life because we have seen during the corona period so much, we lost so much of our loved ones. So please, even now corona is not away from us, take the vaccination, even take the booster vaccination and practice yoga and practice, take footsteps which are the traditional footsteps, which, is, which improves the immunity of us and let us all be happy and let us all improve our skills. That is my message. Every day improve your skills. Even our nail, which don't have a blood supply or nerve supply, 0.5 millimeter it grows. 
so every day improve your skill improve your skill will open your horizon for more opportunities so each and every day learn another language learn another skill so that that will improve our opportunities and i have to catch the flight by 11 o'clock so thank you so much be happy and healthy award of gold medals madam chancellor i pray that the gold medals and book prizes be awarded to the candidates who have been entitled to receive the gold medals and book prizes i read out the candidates names please start to move vasirelli shrimati sushila narayan reddy gold medal awarded to the student who secured the highest aggregate marks with a minimum a first division ba bcom bsc program by passing all the subjects in one attempt within the minimum period prescribed by the university for the completion of the program please stand up the all serial serially move there is no time to the madam madam has to go balle sumana 2008 1819 batch balle sumana madam she has been awarded another two medals also tummala dhananjaya choudhary memorial gold medal vasireddy bangaramma venkata kistayya memorial gold medal as a women candidate three gold medals awarded to the candidate harsha veena kurkal harsha veena 1720 batch shrimati sushila narayan reddy gold medal tummala dhananjaya choudhary memorial gold medal వాసిరెడ్డి బంగారమ్మ వెంకట సాయి ఒక్క నిమిషం కిస్టయ్య గోల్డ్ మెడల్ అందరు లైన్గా నిలబెట్టండి వీణ కురకర్ల హర్ష వీణ గొల్లు భవానీ ఫాదర్ ఈజ్ కమింగ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ది షీఈస్ బిజీ విత్ దట్ గొల్లు భవానీ ఎయిటీన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ బ్యాచ్ ఎండి కాజా మొయినుద్దీన్ విఆర్ నార్లా మెమోరియల్ గోల్డ్ మెడల్ మొహమ్మద్ కాజా మొయినుద్దీన్ మొహమ్మద్ కాజా మొయినుద్దీన్ వెర్ ఇస్ ఎ క్యాండిడేట్ నెక్స్ట్ గుంటూరు తేజస్వి షేక్ షబియా షబానా శబానా ఉషారాణి చెప్పుకోను చెప్పండి చీలిపోను వల్ల ఉషారాణి షేక్ శబానా ఏం చేస్తున్నారు మీరు ఉషారాణి సవేరా గోల్డ్ మెడల్ టూ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ బొడ్డుపల్లి రుక్మిణి చేయలేకుండా ఒకసారి టూ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ట్వంటీ బ్యాచ్ సవేరా గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ చార్టర్డ్ అకౌంట్ రుక్మిణి కటారి వరలక్ష్మి చేయలేపండి క్యాండిడేట్ వరలక్ష్మి కటార్ వరలక్ష్మి శ్రీ గాట్ త్రీ గోల్డ్ మెడల్స్ టూ థౌసండ్ ఎయిటీన్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ సవేరా గోల్డ్ మెడల్ కావూరి చలపతి రావు గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ చార్టర్డ్ అకౌంటెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫర్ హైయెస్ట్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ యూజీ బీకామ్ బ్యాచల్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్యాండిడేట్ 
బింజి శ్రీ శ్రీలక్ష్మి తిరుమల తిరుమల శ్రీలక్ష్మి తిరుమల సిక్స్టీ నైన్ డిమెన్స్ షీ గాట్ టూ గోల్డ్ మెడల్స్ మేడం ఛాన్సలర్ కావూరి చలపతి రావు గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ద ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ చార్టర్డ్ అకౌంటెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా గోల్డ్ మెడల్ కోటేశ్వర్ రావు భైరగోప కోటేశ్వర్ రావు వెదర్ ఈజ్ అటెండ్ అట్ దేర్ భైరగోప కోటేశ్వర్ రావు టూ థౌసండ్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ బ్యాచ్ కావూరి చలపతి రావు గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫస్ట్ కొప్పు నవీన్ బి రెడీ సిక్స్టీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ సామల జయప్రద వెంకట రంగారెడ్డి గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫర్ అచ్చింగ్ ద హైయెస్ట్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ జియాలజీ సబ్జెక్ట్ రవికుమార్ అవోరి టూ థౌసండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ట్వంటీ బ్యాచ్ సామల జయప్రద వెంకట రంగారెడ్డి గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ధరావత్ శ్రీ శ్రావణి ట్వంటీ ఎయిటీన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ బ్యాచ్ సెవెన్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ప్లీజ్ కమ్ సెవెన్ ఫస్ట్ సెవెన్ తర్వాత రవికుమార్ రవికుమార్ అవరి రవికుమార్ చేయలేపండి తీసిపెట్టుకోండి శ్రావణి టూ థౌసండ్ ఎయిటీన్ ట్వంటీ వన్ బ్యాచ్ సామల జయప్రద వెంకట రంగారెడ్డి గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ప్రచింగ్ హైయెస్ట్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ జియాలజీ షేక్ రసూల్ బి సిక్స్టీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ శ్రీ నాగేశెట్టి నాగేష్ శెట్టి గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫర్ హైస్ అచీవింగ్ హైయెస్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ కెమిస్ట్రీ రసూల్ బి సిక్స్టీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ ఎద్దు సుగుణ సెవెంటీన్ ట్వంటీ బ్యాచ్ శ్రీ నాగేష్ శెట్టి గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫర్ అచీవింగ్ హైయెస్ట్ మార్క్స్ ఇన్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఇమ్రాన్ బాషా సుగుణ ఫాస్ట్ మొహమ్మద్ తొందరగా వెళ్ళాలి ఇమ్రాన్ బాషా బిరడి ఇమ్రాన్ బాషా ఇమ్రాన్ బాషా నెక్స్ట్ శ్రీవాణి శ్రవాణి అజయ్ సార్ ఇమ్రాన్ బాషా శ్రావణి ఓకే ఓకే శ్రావణి శ్రావణి ఇచ్చారా రైట్ సత్ సన్యాసమ్మ సన్యాసమ్మ చల్లా గౌతమి బిరడి పరిగెత్తండి చల్లా గౌతమి కొమ్మిరెడ్డి మల్లేశ్వరి మాలసాన లక్ష్మి నరసింహన్ మళ్ళా గంగయ్య మెమోరియల్ గోల్డ్ మెడల్ నెక్స్ట్ క్యాండిడేట్ అజయ్ రాణి అంబాటి మల్లీశ్వరి మల్లీశ్వరి తనిచ్చింది అంబటి అజయ్ రాణి అంబటి గీగ కల్పన కవిత సిక్స్టీన్ ఎండింగ్ బాచ్ శ్రీకాంత్ రెడీ శ్రీకాంత్ తప్పేట ఎబిసబ 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 తప్పేట బొల్లు సుమాంజలి ఫస్ట్ మూవ్ అప్ సుమాంజలి బుల్ సుమాంజలి 
పోతుల నాగా మూలమ్మ నాగులమ్మ నాగా మౌలమ్మ నైజా సుల్తానా పిరడి సౌజన్య షేక్ అజారుద్దీన్ దేర్ నో వెంకటి గణేష్ చీకటి రాజేష్ గణేష్ తీసుకో మధ్య చీకటి రాజేష్ భగవాన్ బేరా రజనీ వై శ్రీనివాస్ డి శ్రీనివాస్ నెక్స్ట్ గులా భాస్కర్ శ్రీనివాస్ రెడ్డి శ్రీనివాస్ శ్రీనివాస్ రెడ్డి ఎర్రా కోటేశ్వర్ శ్రీనివాస్ రెడ్డి తీసుకున్నాం ఎర్రా కోటేశ్వర్ ఎర్రా కోటేశ్వర్ ప్రసన్న కుమారి వడారి ప్రసన్న కుమారి పల్లెడ్డి శ్వేత ప్రసన్న కుమారి పల్లెడ్డి శ్వేత పల్లెడ్డి శ్వేత పిఎల్పి భారతి పల్లి పల్లి వసంత వసంత పల్లి రవీందర్ రెడ్డి మెట్టుపల్లి బండి వెంకటేశ్వర్లు బండి వెంకటేశ్వర్లు ఎఫ్రోజ్ తీసుకుపో అరసపల్లి పరమేశ్వరి
अफरोज रुखसाना मिलिका कोमली मिलिका कोमली सुगना मूव फास्ट मैं सुगना माधवी सॉरी माधवी माधवी नो कुमार रानी रजिता सूर्य कमला रजिता सूर्य कमल रमली सूर्य कम सूर्य कमला अस्मा शादव जोशी जोशी ओके ओके लेट्स गो लेट्स गो जोशीला पकड़ दर्द करना मानो इस तरह कौन साउजेन्ना सुनचू सूर्य कमला स्वामी रोशन जैन स्वामी रोशन जैन अवधान वेंकटेश प्रसाद दीपिका जनगीर चन्नूर दीपक जंगीर Venkat Subbaya, only four. Venkat Subbaya. Palle Sreen was ready. Palle Sreen was ready. Sammaya Kamagani. Sreen was ready. समय समय दिस तो नहीं होता। घर आ दी। आज नवाज रेड्डी चीज़ सिर्फ नवाज रेड्डी। मैं समय आ। इस बार ना मार्टिन है। समय आ। आरवेन सुनीता, प्लीज़ स्टॉप तो दर्शन। सुनीता अगर अच्छे से
सुनीता सर रिक्वेस्टेड द गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट ड्यू टू द फ्लाइट टाइम टू द मैडम चांसलर दिस वी हैव टू बीन सेंड ऑफ द चांसलर विल कम बैक एंड आई विल इशू द डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट्स द वाइस चांसलर चीफ गेस्ट प्लीज Please join the live also. Medals. Okay, sir, for photograph. Photos uh, The people who have been not taken the gold medals, please stand along with the governor, madam, chancellor, madam. Take a photograph. Even PhD is also. Please. The photograph I have to take with the governor, madam, who have been not taken the gold medals. Please come on the dais and take a photograph with the madam chancellor. Please and PhD is also. M Phil PhD. Please, those who have been not taken by personally, please come on the dais and take a photograph. PhD is please PhD is also. M Phil PhD is also. Please come. first Mamulor Rao, PhD is more than please. Please, gold medals and PhD is only. The friends, other than PhD is gold medals. Please leave that. Yes, please. First gold medal, this one tarvata pakka jargali. Dai chesi. Gold medal walo this one langka pakka jargali. Meerang meerang mil sir, meerang mil sir. friends madam is leaving tarava istaru chancellor chief guest gar istaru chief guest gar istaru meeku please please bear 5 minutes for sending off the chancellor madam ivar ivar eppudu digandi digandi please digandi malli vastaru ippude 5 nimshallo
Madam Chancellor, do I have the permission of the Chancellors to dissolve the convocation? Yes, it can be dissolved. I declare the convocation dissolved. National Anthem. Dear students, Mikita Wal Tiskon Walanda Rikane Kuchandi, Vice Chancellor, Chief Guest Wal, Turlo Nekov, Madam Governor and Pompiche Shostar, Dajesh under Sitla Kuchandi, Mimi Sitla Kuchandi. Mimi Sitla Kuchandi. Daiche si over eli pova dandi. Oka main amni pumpi chhe governor gan pumpi chhe ne mera malla ikar ko sir vice chancellor chief guest wala sunna ro daiche si me me seat lagu chondi.
Sorry to say, disturb to you. Because of the emergency meeting of the governor, yesterday night only they informed the uh, office of the governor, they have given the time up to maximum 10.30 only. Her flight is only 11.15. It is a major drawback to us to call in all the people. And little bit, Nara has been a little bit, I will just call it. My chief guest guard, continue to use the program. Please resume the seats who have been not taken. Directly, I will tell you about this. This is the first time the governor has a program for 11 to 9 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 to 9. Sunita, are you ready for Sunita? The next candidate, Ramdas Banoth. Ramdas Banoth. The organizers of the Gold Medals Committee. Please keep that the people who are there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ramdas, sir. टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन एट एटीन बैच स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया गोल्ड मेडल पर अचिंग हाईएस्ट अग्रेड मार्स इन एमए हिस्ट्री रामदास बानोत द नेक्स्ट कैंडिडेट सुनील कुमार जिनागा जिनागा सुनील कुमार अच्छा मुंदे टिक बिटल लगा माधरन आगे इंद्रमा माधरन आगे इंद्रमा नो सुनील कुमार है ना वानपल्ली चंद्रशेखर सुनील कुमार सुनील कुमार सुनील कुमार सुनील कुमार Vamala Kumari, Kundeti, list you on the other hand, confused. Vimala Kumari, Kundeti, Kundeti, Vimala Kumari, Kundeti, Vimala Kumari. Srinivasulu Banka, Banka, you know, Banka, Sinil Kumar Garunar, one minute. Who is this? Srinivasulu. Banka Srinivasulu. Sinil Kumar Garunar, one minute. Sinil Kumar Garunar, one minute. Sinil Kumar Garunar. 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 Sinil Kumar Janaga, State Bank of India Gold Medal. For achieving the highest aggregate marks in MH3. Kami Reddy, Suresh Reddy, 2018-20 badge, State Bank of India gold medal.
for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA sociology? Suresh Reddy. And Ramesh Babu. Ramesh Babu. Chakravartula Sudhavalli. Ramesh Babu. 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 Ayalan Chandrasekhar Rao. 2017-19 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MA Telugu. CH Thirumala. 18-20 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal, highest aggregate marks in MA Telugu. K. Swati. Next candidate, 2019-21 batch. She got two gold medals, State Bank of India gold medal and Sabha Ra Ramana gold medal for achieving the highest aggregate mores in MA Telugu and women candidate also. Venkateshwaramma, the next candidate, 16-18 batch. State Bank of India gold medal for achieving the highest aggregate mores in MSc Mass and Applied Mass. Ganchikunda, Balasai, Sunita Alok, Sunita Alok. Sir, this is a very saddest situation. Her son got a gold medal, but unfortunately, he suddenly demised due to the heart attack in recently. Their parents are taking the gold medal, big hand to them only for the great son. State Bank of India gold medal, MSc Mass and Applied Mass. Manoranjan Sahu. Manoranjan Sahu. Lera? Rale Dhamma? Ah, Rakhunta Chis Pakhunta. Bhaagya Lakshmi Garu. Venkata Bhaagya Lakshmi. Rale Dhamma? Sattala Ravi Kumar. Ravi Kumar. Ravi Kumar. Swapuna. Ready, Gundandamma. Ravi Kumar, 2019-21 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal for achieving the MSc Mass Applied Mass. MSc Mass and Applied Mass for achieving IS Mass in the post-graduation course. Swapuna, 16-18 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal for achieving the highest aggregate Mass in MSc Chemistry. Padaraju Kamala, 17-19 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal, for achieving the highest aggregate marks in MSc Chemistry. Chitrada Chinna, next candidate. Chitrada Chinna, 2018-20 BIS, State Bank of India Gold Medal, for achieving the highest aggregate marks in MSc Chemistry. Paspala Gopal, 1921 batch, State Bank of India gold medal, for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Chemistry. Kodamala Pratyusha, 2016-18 batch, Pedriti Narayanamma Venkatram Reddy gold medal, for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Environmental Science. Dana Bhagya Lakshmi, 1719 batch, Pedirati Narayanamma Venkatramiriti gold medal for achieving highest aggregate mass 
MSc Environmental Science. C.H. Bhaskar. Two thousand eighteen twenty batch, Pedriti Narayanamma Venkatramriti gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Environmental Science. Edukala Kanaka Jyoti, 2018-20 batch, Pedirati Narayanamma Venkatramriti gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Environmental Science. B. Prakya, B. Prakya, is there? Prakya, no? Aruna P. Two thousand sixteen eighteen batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate mass in MSC Botany. Yasmin Sultana Begum. Two thousand seventeen nineteen batch, Yasmin Sultana Begum awarded State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate mass in MSC Botany. K. Mamata, 2018-20 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Botany. B. Madhavi, 1921 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Botany. Madhavi Oja, Madhavi Oja. Madhavi Oja, 2016-18 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Zoology. B. Shankar, 2017-19 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Zoology. Juvera Najish, 1820 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Zoology. G. Sureka, 2019-21 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Zoology. K. Ravinder, 2015-18 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA. Badawats Setram, 16-19 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA. Rajini J, 2017-19 batch, State Bank of India gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA and also got Y. Shankara Rao and Y. Sujata Devi gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA women. Two gold medals she got. Sujata Devi. Two thousand fifteen eighteen batch. Why Shankar Rao and why Sujata Devi gold medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MBA women. Sanjeev Kumar. 
Sanjuta Malni, 16-19 BH, Y Shankar Rao and Y Sujata Devi gold medal for achieving highest agreed marks in MBA women. N Sanjana, Sanjana N, Rajita, 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 M Rajita, 2017-18 batch, Kandavali, Lakshmi Ranjanam and Sri Shaila Brahmarambika Memorial Gold Medal for achieving highest aggregate mass in MSc Physics. Sahiti. Kantala Sahiti, 2018-20 batch, Kandavali Lakshmi Ranjanaman, Sri Shaila Brahmaramika Memorial Gold Medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Physics. Yes, Padmavati. Two thousand nineteen twenty one batch, Kandavali Lakshmi Ranjanaman, Sri Shaila Brahmaramika Memorial Gold Medal for achieving highest aggregate marks in MSc Physics. Prize. Book prize now. Dr. C.V. Narsimhawaradi book prize awarded to the meritorious student who obtained a minimum first division and secured the highest agreed marks in mass communication public relations UG program by passing all the subjects in one attempt within the minimum period fixed by the university for the completion of the program. Vaddineni Sunita. Venkata Bhagya Lakshmi Gullu Bhavani, Gullu Bhavani, late to late question, Gullu Bhavani, Gullu Bhavani, late to late to first serial mission, starting low on atom, number two. Okay, after PhDs, we have to be given to them, just after awarding the PhD. Please wait. This is going to be missing a circle. Okay, okay. The pressure is different. List this one. Gullu Bhavani. Parachin, highest mars in UG, Srimati Shishila Narayan Reddy gold medal, Tummala Dhananjaya Chaudhary Memorial gold medal, Vasireddy Bangarama Venkata Sheshayak Memorial gold medal. She got three gold medals. Gullu Bhavani. Huh? 
बल्ले सुमना She got three medals. Actually, she received earlier two. Now, well, let's move on. So request as the deans of the faculties, please read out the and admit the degrees of the PhDs and MPhils. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy PhD in Commerce kindly stand? Madam Chancellor, I present to you these candidates and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Commerce. Mrs. Renubala, PhD in Commerce. Next, Mr. Chetty Srinivas Yadav. Next, Miss Arifa Sultana, PhD in Commerce. Thank you. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Sciences kindly stand? Mr. Vice Chancellor, I present to you this candidate and pray that they may be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Science. Mr. K. Vidya Sagar. Will the candidates hmm. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Philosophy Yamphil in Sciences kindly stand? Mr. Vice Chancellor, I present to you this candidate and pray that he may be admitted to the degree of Master of Philosophy, Yamphil in Science. Mr. T. Rajesh Kumar. Will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Social Sciences kindly stand? Mr. Vice Chancellor, I present you these candidates and pray that <coughs> they may be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Social Sciences. Aman Rajalakshmi. Aman Rajalakshmi. 
ಆರ್ ಬಿ ನಾಯಕ್ ಅಮನ್ ರಾಜಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿ ನಾಯಕ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ರೇಖಾ ತ್ರಿಪಾಠಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ರಶ್ಮಿ ರೇಖಾ ತ್ರಿಪಾಠಿ ಬಿ ವಿಜಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ವಿಜಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೀತಾ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಕಸ್ತೂರಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೀತಾ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಕಸ್ತೂರಿ ಮಾನವ್ ಎಸ್ ಗಡ್ಡಂ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಶ್ರೀನಿವಾಸ್ ಬಂಗಾರು ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾ ವೇದಾಂತಂ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾ ವೇದಾಂತಂ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಕೆ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸುಬ್ಬರಾಜು ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸುಬ್ಬರಾಜು ಸುಬ್ಬರಾವ್ ಸುಬ್ಬರಾವ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಎನ್ ಸೀನಯ್ಯ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸೀನಯ್ಯ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಬಿ ಆರ್ ಅಂಬೇಡ್ಕರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಕರುಣಾ ಏಕಾಂಬರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಕರುಣಾ ಏಕಾಂಬರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಋಷಿನಾಥ್ ರಾವ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟರಿ ಋಷಿನಾಥ್ ರಾವ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ರವಿಕುಮಾರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ರವಿಕುಮಾರ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಗುಂಟೂರು ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ಗುಂಟೂರು ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾರ್ಲಾ ಮೆಮೋರಿಯಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಚಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅನದರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಮಿಸ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂಜನಿ ಗೋಗಿನೇನಿ ಮೆಮೋರಿಯಲ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಚಿಂಗ್ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ವುಮೆನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಿಡೇಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರಮ್ಮ ಎಸ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವೆಂಕಟರಾಮನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಬಾಲಾಸಾಯಿ ಸುನೀತಾ ಗಂಜಿಕುಂಟ ಬಾಲಾಸಾಯಿ ಸುನೀತಾ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವೆಂಕಟರಾಮನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ Award, awarded to the student who secured the highest aggregate marks in MSc Mathematics, 2018-19 batch. Sai Sunita. Manoranj, sorry, Uttar, Uttarali Venkata Bhagi Lakshmi. Venkata Bhagi Lakshmi. Ravi Kumar S. Yes. Ravi Kumar. ಮಾಡಿ <laughs> <laughs> 
So prisoners, Yam Srinivas, Surendra Reddy, Chela Palli, Nchochina Twenty, Srinivas, Surendra Reddy, Ganga Raju. Durga Prasad, Bandari Srinivas, Srinivas, Mughal Rawali, Srinivas Yam, Srinivas, Surendra Reddy, Ganga Raju, Durga Prasad, Bandar Srinivas, Ramesh Babu. Ramesh Abraham, all of them have been acquired B.A. degree. John Abraham, Kundapaka Sridhar Srinu, Balaram Venkata Ganesh, he completed the post-graduation Master of Science, Psychology. P. Balram Venkat Ganesh. Santosh Kumar. Santosh Kumar. MSc Psychology. Amos Tamang. MSc Psychology. Prashant Mangrale, no. Amir Muhammad Jamal. Where are my people? Where are my people? Where are my people? Amir Muhammad Jamal. MSc Psychology. D. Santosh Kumar. Santosh. Amos Tamang. MSC Psychology. Prashant. M. Prashant. Jamal, Amir Muhammad Jamal, MSc Psychology. Book Prize, Ganji Gunta, Bala, Sai, Sunita. Satani Shekhar.
थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल स्पेयरिंग द टाइम वट आर ग्रुप फोटोज ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर एंड ऑल स्पेयरिंग द वैल्यूबल टाइम टू अटेंड यर फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग ऑनवर्स थैंक यू फॉर यूर पेशेंस टू सी आर थैंक यू थैंक यू वन एंड ऑल psychology msc psychology 2017 21 batch please be on the dais सैकालजी फस्ट बैच मिगता अंदर सारी पैक रही वैस चास्टर गार चीफ गेस्ट गार प्लीज़ बी फास्ट तुंदर रही सैकालजी एम एस शंकर बाबू सारे